Arizona one? Do you see the Arizona one? Hey everyone, it's Vicki Hell from The Knit Show. We're calling this series that I'm just making up right now, um, <laughs> Knit Show on the Road. So I've Yay. never done a YouTube live video, but my friend Kathy Conamaria, what? Crafty Chica is here. Well, she's here because she lives here. I'm in Phoenix. This is her awesome new um, art studio called Mucho Moss. Mm -hmm. Mucho Moss. And um, she was so nice to let me come and visit. I'll let you come and visit. I was like, come on down. Well, my Thanks girl, for being my crafty here. girl. So when we're here, though, what we have to do when we're together is we have to craft. Yes, right? we have to make stuff. And so she's also, she's we're simulcasting? Yes. We're simulcasting on her Facebook page right now. Um, and what we're going to be doing are making these little holiday ornaments that are cactus. For those of you that watch The Knit Show, you know, you know, I think cactus are the new owl. So I wore a cactus dress on my holiday um, episode, and I made a spooky cacti for um, the Joanne's um, feed. And so now we're gonna take it on to Christmas because yes. we're, we both it's live in the Southwest. To sell. And you know what's neat about these is that you don't have to wait for Christmas. These are cute enough to make as a gift tag or to yeah. give out, you know, around the holidays or I mean for Thanksgiving or Dia de los Muertos you can put little skulls on them they're just super I mean, cute or to your favorite gardener yeah I mean anytime exactly. anytime yes so let's talk supplies okay do you want to hand off the phone what do you want to do let's just go okay for it. all right this is I need this to be in this position okay <laughs> here's the other thing I feel like this should shoot in a different perspective okay no <laughs> okay here's what we have all right we need a cookie cutter Okay. Um, you need either some foam or um, you can get these at the craft store. They're just these bristly brushes. Just something for you to, to needle felt on. I love that. And by the way, I got this on Amazon. I also have... Is this yours or mine? Where's yours? Oh, there's mine. Look, there's mine. Right. Care Tanner, will you... Okay, so just get, so you can, we're doing cactus, but obviously you could do this with a Christmas tree so or here's mine. You can see it has clay a cat all or whatever you'd like. Um, okay. Then what you'll need is roving. You can get this at your Arizona local yarn too. store, or okay. you can get, it actually comes in packs. What is it um, called? It's called roving. So roving. this is unspun. This is what, what yarn, what wool looks like before it's spun into yarn. Okay. Okay, so you can get it in all kinds of colors. They come in craft packs, or um, you can get them, you know, just from, like you can tell Ooh, there's like different kinds. Like one. this is, this one still has the kinks from the, from the sheep. Yeah. Anyways, Ooh, there are the all kinds of sheets. Yeah, so there's all kinds. This was hand dyed. This was given to me by Nick, this great artist. So anyways, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so we've got that. Then you'll need needle felting needles. Again, you can get these at a craft store. Clover makes them. Clover actually makes all this stuff, so you can get it at any craft store. You can get one that looks kind of like a... Oh, like a hypodermic needle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they come in like, if you can see this one, has three needles. Uh huh. And then this big mamma jamma has several needles. Wow. So this is really good for bigger pieces okay. um, because it felts faster. But I don't recommend using it with the cookie cutters because it's really hard not to jam into it oh, and then break a needle. Okay, yeah. So, so because you want to use a felter that will fit easily within the size for of the your cookie cutter. For the beginning part. Now, okay. we, once we get the initial shape, and we can talk about this in a second, you can remove this, and then you can go in with your with the real tools. Okay, gotcha. um, So, and then you want just some sequin or buttons or beads, whatever you want to do to decorate, some trims maybe. Nice. You know the craft store always has like those like yeah. random grab packs. Get those or go into your vintage stuff. Just whatever you want to do um, to decorate. This I got these fun. at like, you know, some craft fair. It was like, these were like little vintage embellishments. And then you need a hot glue gun and glue, which we don't have right now, but we're going to imagine that we do. Yeah, I can, oh, pull, you know? I'll plug it in. Okay. I'll plug All it right. in. I'm going to hand this over to Tanner. And that way we can get started. I'm going to plug in the glue gun. Please. Okay, so while she's doing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our, just drop my needle, we're going to take our cookie cutter and just place it on. I also will use foam too that you can just get like upholstery foam that you can get at the craft store either will work you just don't want to do this on your table because you'll make holes but you'll also break your needles so the first thing 
like whenever you're working Ready? with anything sharp, be careful. Okay. You know, don't jab yourself. Okay, so first pick Which a color. Um, you can use either one. I'm a newbie at this. Here, I'm excited use, why don't to you learn. Use that one okay. Because this one I've never used before, so I don't okay. know how it works. So we're going to give it a try. Okay, so we're going to grab some roving. Which color do you want? I'm going to do I this one. I thought you were going to go like bold. Oh, I think I'll, I'll mix it in All right. too. All right. Okay, so you grab just a little bit of roving. And you're just going to kind of place it in. So I'm going to turn this around so that. Can I mix different colors? You, you do you. Okay, I, so who it, might it have press like mess up the project. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. In fact, it'll give it kind of a water paint melted thing. Ooh, so while okay. you're while you're playing with that, as you go along, you're going to just start jabbing it. Again, watch for your. I say that as I do, do you fill my up finger. the whole thing or one little section at a time? Are you okay? Like I said, don't jab your finger. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a knitter. I have strong hands. Okay, so I'm going to just lift this up for a second. I need way more than this, obviously, but you can already see that it's starting to form to the shape of the cookie cutter. I feel like a machine. I like this. Yeah, and they actually make felting machines um, for bigger projects, too. And this will actually work. It works great with roving. Um, certain thick yarns will work uh -huh. with this, like craft yarns. So you can play with it. And you can actually needle felt onto um, wool, wool felt, if you like, like if you wanted to do little embellishments. So you're just going to continue, and you want to layer it so that it's kind of as thick as you want your piece. Uh, since we're making an ornament that we are going to poke a hole at the top to place a hanger in, we want to make sure that it's thick enough to sort of like hold that. Um, so I'm kind of just eyeing it. I would say that our that mine are you know about a quarter inch thick, maybe a little more. And you this just keep like a you keep adding, craft, huh? like well, crafting have, on the edge. I mean, it's after don't, five. Don't somewhere. poke your finger. Yeah. So you just keep going and adding and adding. So while we're working on this process, I'm going to go ahead and just talk through the other ones. Okay. And then we can. So people don't have to watch from beginning to end us doing this. Well, actually, you know what? Let me let me do a little bit more so I can talk to you a little bit about taking away the um, the cookie cutter. So you can also you can needle felt freehanded too if you feel so inspired. Um, like if you want to make little round balls or whatever for ornaments or um, little abstract shapes, that totally works too. I just find that cookie cutters are great because. Um, they have an actual form shape. And it's hard to mess up. It you really just stick is. With the pattern. Yeah, and this is great. And this is also great. Um, this is a great project for teens, um, too. Like if they want to make, you know, like BFF ornaments for their yeah. friends or um, anything, um, any kind of gift for like their cheerleading teams or whatever. This is really fun. It's also a great, another great, you know how I love the gateway projects too. Uh -huh. Knitting and crochet. Yes. Like if I can just get you into fiber, then yes. I feel like you're going to come towards Graduate the, the, to the knitting the and crochet level. dark side. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. So how's it going over there? This would be cute also like to make a pin, like a brooch. Absolutely. That's what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to make okay. it for my jeans jacket. Oh, that's a good idea. You might want, oh, maybe not with denim. There are some, if you had a wool coat, you could needle felt directly onto Ooh. it. Which would, like a pea coat? Yeah. That would be really cool. Um, you could do your, your whole logo. You have the skills that you could freehand this. I think once I do, do this one time, I'll like, then I can figure out like, oh, okay, now I know yeah. how it goes. Have you not needle felt it before? No, this is oh, the first no time I've ever okay. done this. So I just, when I got to a point where <gasps> it's kind of, you know, in the basic shape, I usually get rid of the cookie cutter because I like to move over to the bigger one because it goes faster. And you know how I like quick crafts. And this will go a lot faster. But you'll notice like, oh man, there's still some sculpting to do. So you can go in. I like using the single needle that Kathy has a little bit better for this part, but go in on the sides and kind oh of just, God, did it break? No worries, I'm it sorry. happens. Nope, it happens all the time. Take this one. Okay. That happens all the time, needles break. And they come with 
spares, and I probably have them, but I can't I got tell you. a little too excited. That's the thing. Oh, the other, th the, the tip is what probably happened, you have to make sure that you jab up and down and not at an angle. It probably hit the side of the cookie Abs cutter. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I, I mean, I do that all the time. So it's good that that happened because then you can know what not to do. Yeah, yeah but honestly, I mean, you know, when you're jabbing something with a thin needle, it's going to break sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's part of it. And they're really easy to replace. And any set that you buy, especially at a craft um, craft store, will come with oh, multiple yeah, needles. Oh yeah, the one with the multiple needles goes so much faster. I like that. So I actually um, like to take it off kind of midway through and pull it off and flip it over and you'll see it's kind of like a big hot fuzzy mess, right? So especially, um, oh I see, hi ma'am, nice to see you. Um, yes, you should definitely try needle felting again, for sure. Okay, so I like to, to also go over it in the back not because I'm gonna make it look as pretty as the front, but I just like to secure it. Okay, so you would just continue. Again, if I were working on in my own time and not you know, making you guys watch my, my meticulous practice, I would go in with a single needle and I would really go around and work on kind of almost the sculpting of it. Um, hi Debbie, nice to see you watching. Hi Amy. Um, okay, so if you're just tuning in now, we, I am here with Crafty Chica, Kathy Conamario. Hi. I just realized you haven't been on. This is the, <laughs> this is the flawed plan with us, too. Um, we are in Phoenix, and we are making cactus Christmas ornaments, needle felted. And we're using cookie cutters to do that. So all we've done so far is we've added roving, and we've started needle felting. And so I have... kind of gotten pretty far with mine. This is where you can get obsessive. Oh, the other thing that you can do, if you found out um, that it's a little, like this is bugging me, like that's that's a weird shape. So what I would do is I would go in with scissors because you've now created a fabric. Mm -hmm. So you can trim it with scissors to whatever oh. shape. You could also do that after too, if you wanted to cut out. Okay, I'm gonna um, do a, the reveal and I'm gonna take off my Okay, let's do that, cutter. I'm gonna move it over there. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it looks so oh, good. Oh, how cool. I love it. it so then so I just good. peel it off? Yeah, just peel it off. And you'll have to flip it over and then do a little do more. Do some more work Yeah, you're, you may have to, and if you find that it's starting to tear, you may have to add more, but you can add more at any time. You okay. can layer it upon layer. It's like painting. Like you okay. just keep layering it. This is so cute. Oh my god, I love that. I love how it's fuzzy like that. I mean, like for a cactus, that really works, yeah. Yeah. So if I wanted, I could like turn it around and go this way, or should I just leave it off? And just Oh, I would just leave it off. You've okay. got your basic shape. Okay. okay, so you just continue doing that. Let me see if I can move the camera a little bit. What a great, I, another use for cookie cutters. Yeah, I mean, I don't do a lot of cooking, to I be honest with so you. I have so many cookie cutters that I yeah. use for clay and ceramics. Oh, great idea. Yeah, so this is really fun. Um, oh my God, I have a sweater cookie cutter, like to make ugly sweater ornaments. I've done that before. I've Wouldn't made it them. be so cute to make these? I think I, oh no, God. I have one in my box at home. I started doing that. Um, yeah, last, yes, they're great. It's perfect. Okay, so. You just keep on keeping on doing that, and I'm just gonna talk them through the rest okay. um, for YouTube, and then you can do you on yours. So from there, all you need to do is take a thick tapestry needle or an awl or mm -hmm. anything and just jab it through the top of your piece to create a hole. Um, and then you feed some string or I had this I thought this looked like this lasso so just some kind of um, trim through it and um, that'll create your hanger and then from there it's just you and your hot glue gun hot glue gun is you're gonna be your BFF you're just going to find sequin or um, I wonder what the pinata paper would work I would it would be the, the you wouldn't be able paper? to yeah I mean you wouldn't be able to hot glue it but you might be able to actually needle like yeah push it in uh -huh. with the needles that's the thing is that you don't always have to glue sometimes you can press materials into it so it's really fun for instance i did not hot glue these little this ball fringe on at all 
I just used the needle felting and jab. I just needle felted. I jabbed uh, it. I in. like how what you yeah. said. You can just use the needle to shape it. Yeah. And make oh, let's more look. defined shapes. Yeah. So you can see she's going in on the side and really just defining it a little bit more. And this is fun. You know, like we're obviously we're doing ornaments right now, but you could do this for any holiday or non-holiday. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, I mean, you can get into a zone with the, with the jabbing, I know. you know? Yes. Yeah. So it's really cool. And, and then what gets you out of the zone is if you accidentally hit your finger, Yeah. which is what I'm the trying struggle what is real. not to do. But look, I poked mine. It's already not bleeding. Okay, We're good. It's already We're good. <laughs> We're, We're good. resilient crafters. Yeah. So that's it. So some of you have oh seen me gosh, on Facebook so live cute. before teaching how to do Christmas tree versions of this because I was coming to see my girl. Kathy, Aww. I thought cactus would be the this is perfect. the dream. I love it. So um, you do you. I'm gonna but put a little heart in the middle of my cactus. Of course, you're gonna put a heart in the middle of cactus because yes. that's adorable. <laughs> All right. So if you're looking for more holiday inspiration, please keep your eyes on the Knit Show Instagram account where I'm posting all kinds of Halloween stuff. Also at Vicky Howell. But please, please, please remember to check out our handmade holiday episode for loads of inspiration for those winter holidays. All right. Until next time, um, this is my first live on oh, YouTube. You did a great job. Thank you for hanging out yes. with me, everyone. Bye. <laughs>